All right, so model number one that we begin with is an American Eagle ERJ145 wearing the old livery. So here is the inside. It's got the white um, colors on it, the red, white, and blue colors. You see even the bottom of it has a new logo, the bottom of the flap. On the back, it indicates it's a 2017 release. Pretty new, but I guess old for its livery. I guess we have no choice but to get started. And we've all checked these models to make sure they're not broken, and they are not, so you don't have to worry about that for this unboxing. Although the unboxing process will be difficult. Okay, so move that off to the side, and it's out. A very little. So there you go. Embraer ERJ145, the first in my collection. Certainly won't be the last because I like these little these little guys. So there's the bottom of the plane, very tiny um, Gemini Jets logo. Right under there, right underneath the stan hole. Then you got the the engines. I'm kind of operating the camera sideways, so my hand movements are not going to be as great. So there's the registration of the plane and then the classic American tail with the eagle. I like the old tail on the old American eagle planes. Not really a big fan of their new livery because it just looks just like the main line livery. But yeah, there's the red, white, and blue and then the landing gear is like a little stump. The nose landing gear because it's so tiny. If they went too detailed, it'd be too fragile. So yeah, that's the ERJ145, the first of four models now. Let's get to the second model. Alright, so quick update. The structural integrity is not as good. The engines seem a bit wobbly. I don't want to touch them because they might fall out. So, again, we bought this second hand, so... But it is in one piece, so, you know, you can't go wrong with it. Let's head on to the next model, which is bigger box. American Airlines Airbus A321 and I've actually seen a video of someone unboxing it and it actually broke. I actually picked up one of these and it did break but they did have another one in stock so I picked up one that was broken. At least I hope so. So here's the flap. Everything in it. There you go. All the aircraft information and then the plane inside. And then we turn to the back. 2018 release, so just last year, right around the time when Gemini Jet's quality started to go downhill. And the item number on this one, GJAAL1704, and I forgot to read the one from the previous one. That was GJAAL1565. Okay, so, then it started. Make sure it's in focus too. They seem to have issues with the focus. Alright. 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 Please don't let the wings fall off. Okay, it's not broken. <laughs> Alright, so... Thank goodness it is not broken. American A321. I've already seen plenty of these at the airport I am currently spotting at. So this is now my, I think, third American Airlines plane with the current livery, and actually two now on the main line, and then I have another one, CRJ200. So here's the underneath of the plane. The beautiful Gemini Jets logo. Let me get some more light in so you guys can see this better. Um, yeah, so there's a Gemini Jets logo, and then the nose landing gear and then the wings which had the most issues but it looks like this one is okay which is probably a first for anyone who has picked up this model and then you have the registration on there and then yeah so now um, this is actually not my first A321 this is probably the first one with the other type of engines they're not the IAE V2500s all right, model number three, we have another Delta, because you can't go wrong with Delta in a collection. This is a Boeing 767-300ER. 
with the oversized winglets, of course. I do have another one that is just like that, so. Open up the flap inside, you have the model, and then the information on the flap, like, like usual. Again, you can't go wrong with it. And then we turn to the back, that is going to be a, what is it, 2018 release, sounds good. Right there on the bottom. And they have the animated plane, and then the item number on this one, GJDAL1732. Pop open this guy. And we are out and open. And away we go. Delta 767, my first one in the collection, so I'm starting to fill up on my fleet of deltas. Hoping he's got the super massive delta belly on him. I'm sure he does. Alright, so here is our 767-300. Beautiful plane, and look at that! As I expected, he's got a massive delta belly. Can't go wrong with the delta belly, of course. And then there's the oversized winglets, cockpit view, the delta tail and delta titles. Pretty much self-explanatory with this one. I have too many, I have too many deltas now, so now all I need is a triple seven two hundred, and then I should be mostly complete with the delta collection. And I guess the only one I need left now is the seven fifty seven fleet, the two hundred and the three hundred, and then I should be done with collecting deltas. All right, another update on this one does have some paint splatters on the side. Well, I don't know if it's paint, but you know, it's like two of them. So you have one right here, one right there. So they're blue, so they're like the same color as the bottom of the plane and then the tail, so I don't know if that's a manufacturing issue or that's the, um, the second hand model owner issue or whatever. But anyway, let's head to the final model of the video, which is a UPS 767-300. So that'll be my third UPS and Looky here! Look who's up in the air already! Nice! Can't go wrong with some plane spotting. So anyway, here is the 767-300, and the exposure is kind of low, but we'll survive. So there's the inside and the flap again. We'll head to the back now. This is another 2017 release, still new, along with all the other ones. No other choice but to go in. So let's head on in. I'm running out of space on this table to put all the models and the packaging for these models. Okay, so... Hopefully the winglet doesn't poke my hand. It was about to. And we're out. Another 767-300. The first freighter one, too. So you got the, just, and that's just the worldwide services. It doesn't have like the synchronizing the world of commerce or whatever. It doesn't have those, it doesn't have that text on it anymore. It's now just worldwide services. But he's still got the classic brown tail with like the yellow transition into the brown. Yeah, there's nothing really much else to it. White on the bottom, and then you have the Gemini jets right under there. And the big engines again, and the oversized winglets. Yep, yeah, pretty much normal stuff on a 767. All right. And we're not done with this unboxing yet because I still got two models left to unbox. <laughs> so yeah, I have six models in this video. I have a Delta 777 and then an MD-11 prototype plane by, I think it's JC Wings. Yeah, JC Wings. So just wanted to make sure I got that right. 
Let's cut to the unboxing of the last two models of this video. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the Delta 777-200ER. Comes in the bigger box this time, the large size box. This is a 2015 release. As according to the back of the box, let's open up the flap. You got the usual information. You pretty much get the idea at this point, so why am I even showing you it anymore? <laughs> So let's go and open it. This is GJDAL1415. And there we go. See, that's not right. so to see. All right. Hopefully this is not broken. And yes, I'm just throwing the plastic on the floor, so don't judge me. Okay. All right, so we have it out. Delta Triple Seven Two Hundred ER. So again, this still keeps going with the Delta collection. Let's see if he has a Delta belly on the bottom, and yes, he does. A pretty big Delta belly. Actually, not as big as I was expecting it to be. The Delta belly is probably twice the size on the real thing than on this model. Let me see the registration of this one. I might have caught that one. It's November 865 Delta Alpha. So again, I can't say for sure if I've actually seen this plane in real life or not. We got the beautiful Trent 800 engines. Which for some reason Delta chose those over like the GE90s like the United ones have, which I did see plenty of those in um, Chicago. That's pretty much it. There's, uh, there's also a Wi-Fi dome as well. Because it is one of those planes. Usually flies out of Minneapolis. The, the ERs, they always fly out of Minneapolis to like Paris, Tokyo, um, Amsterdam I think as well. Maybe not London. I think London, that's for the 763s. So I'm just going based off memory there for what aircraft fly out of Minneapolis, or what routes this aircraft flies out of Minneapolis. Let's go ahead and cut over to the MD-11. Okay. Alright, so now we have the McDonnell Douglas MD-11 prototype plane. I believe it's a prototype, and it has the standard McDonnell Douglas livery on it. You see their MD-11 on the tail, and then McDonnell Douglas. Here's the back of the box. You can see how much different it is on JC Wings than it is on Gemini. They have the specifications here. Um, length, width, and height. <coughs> height. And it does not say a release date, at least based off what I can see. <coughs> so we have no other choice but to get started. out. MD-11. <laughs> so there it is, the MD-11 prototype. I think this one is currently flying for FedEx, but the info on your screen should show you what it actually is and if I'm actually correct. So, ooh, it's like a weird smudge on the plane right around here. Put that into focus. Yeah, it's not, okay, yeah, there you go, so, not as visible on camera as it is to the normal human eye, but that's just what I spotted, so, a minor, um, error there with the plane, but it's got the classic MD-11 font, I do like that, and then McDonnell Douglas, it's all white, and I think it's like a, it was like a gold stripe on the top, and that's like, black and blue then all the way down. So this isn't really anything too interesting, but I only bought this plane because, hey, it's a prototype. I don't think anyone has like a prototype plane. I don't think I've ever seen anyone unbox the prototype, any kind of prototype planes on YouTube. So I figured I'd be the first. So this is it for the unboxing video, so make sure to subscribe as the sign says right here. Thanks for watching.